Yo, I'm alive. <laughs> Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had a lot of people in the just starting soon screen. We had Chris, Acker, Vora, Chip, Potato. I'm scrolling. Kim. Mac was here earlier. And Keelan. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate you all. Um, today we are continuing with our Amoria playthrough. If you've missed the previous streams, we've only done two streams so far, so about six hours of content. Click the pin message. I also have a command. The VODs are published on YouTube. So you can catch up on the lore there. Um, but first, a big, huge, insane announcement. I also have ice cream. It's it's the melon ice cream. It's melted. And then I made a simple strawberry syrup with the leftover strawberries from the Valentine's stream. It's, it's soup. Okay, announcement. Ain't no way. What is this? Meg Esports is hosting a Mario Kart tournament. Sorry, I have ice cream. <laughs> a Mario Kart tournament on Sunday, February 26th. We aren't skipping out. Can you place top three while dodging fireballs? The only items enabled will be fire flowers and booze. Because like I said, anytime... Um... There's an item, we need something to counteract it. Like how we had the horns for the blue shells, and then booze for, oh, uh, what do you call it? Anyway, we're gonna have booze and fire flowers for this one. Top three, get VIP as usual. Just please make sure, um, can you even see that? And um, please make sure you're following the channel. Um, it, lobbies officially open for, are open from 11 to 12, but warm-ups do start at 10, that way we can get people warming up and getting ready. So yeah, that'll be on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I'm gonna be throwing them all backwards? That's very mean. I... We'll talk about it later. The tournament will be 200cc, because honestly, fuck the sweats. Everybody struggles at 200cc. Um, I have a very good feeling I'll get top three. I'm not gonna leak, but I feel very good. Because I feel like fire is gonna fuck up everybody. Because the one tournament that it's probably gonna be similar to is probably the bananas only. And everybody kind of struggled with that because bananas can affect everybody, right? So you have to dodge. So similar with the fireballs. So I think this month will be another toss-up. Let's see who will get top three. Do you think we'll finally be able to decrown Crystal and Tanuki? We'll see. We'll see. So that'll be on Sunday. So please make sure um, you can participate or just watch along. It'll be a fun one. Um, Today, we are continuing our... Oh, oh, damn it. Hold. Sorry, this is gonna bug the fuck out of me. Hold. Everybody hold. I didn't change the border color. Oh my god, is that my pens? I'm a pro streamer, guys. This is my job. Oh wait, another thing that I want to talk about before we play. Yesterday, chat went crazy with subs and donations. That... We actually... I, by we, I mean you guys. You guys. You guys filled a whole journal of names. Look at this shit. Isn't that crazy? So this journal originally has... Oh, I ripped off the page. But this is 70 pages. Five per page. So, congrats, guys. You, you guys are... This is a lot of support for a channel of my size is very small so genuinely thank you to everybody who has donated no matter how big or how small it all has an impact so thank you noise yeah it's crazy y'all are insane um if you've donated yourself and you want to find your name i do have a thread on twitter that you can look at i do post the pages as they are completed i do have another journal so don't freak out oilers that's not the end <coughs> okay are you ready I left and came back and heard bananas can affect everyone. <laughs> it was angelic and almost made me cry. Damn, you're right, Potato. Um, You banned me? Oh, I thought you said you banned me normally, Lamel. <laughs> How many chocolates do you owe? I owe... I set them all aside. I... I don't know how many I'll, like, actually eat. 
Look. Wait, let me grab them. Because chat gifted a total of 32 subs. Two for me, but that doesn't count. So... I owe... Two whole boxes? And then one singular chocolate. So, I have a lot to eat. But I'm only gonna eat one a day, because I don't need that much sugar. Um... Uh, what Potato's talking about. We had two singing redemptions, but I do repost them. If you check out on my Twitch page under videos, and then there's a highlight section, I do highlight the singing parts. I think the best part was when I did She Will Be Loved. There is a highlight up on Twitch. I also will be posting it on my um, YouTube's, YouTube's clip channel. I think that clip is going up today or tomorrow, so... And if you miss a sub-only stream, don't worry, because they do get posted on YouTube about a week-ish later, so. Um, is there anything else that we need to, like, address? Address the controversy? No. <laughs> Dude, I'm just making my own drama. Should we play the game? Sorry, I was gross. Okay, never, never mind. <laughs> I also think I, I want to change my stream setup too. Because I'll probably do it tonight or tomorrow. Because see how we get like this really harsh light from the window? I can either, I can't put up a curtain because I can't put shit into the wall like a curtain rod. So I think I'm just going to move everything to the far side of Because my bed and stuff is over here, my closet. So I might just move everything. That way I get less natural light and then just use ring lights i might do that tonight or tomorrow i'm thinking about it anyway it, it doesn't matter to you guys it'll just look a bit nicer on cam okay let's play <clears throat> i gotta get comfy it's gonna be a lot of talking gonna use my va skills damn i just realized my camera is blocking where the text is gonna be that's so fucking stupid no importa no importa Good luck, thank you. It's nice because, like, all my furniture has, um, like, little plastic footers to where I don't need to, like, lift up. It's not going to scratch the floors. So I can literally just drag everything. And it won't do any damage. Okay, so last week we ended off in the city. And I... What do I... <laughs> I forgot what I need to do. I think I just need to explore. Oh, because we went to Basil's house. It's been literally a month since we've played. Can I... Oh, I can't pause. Fuck. I want... <laughs> the, the way to see, like, what your mission is, you have to talk to Mari. Or if you go out of bounds, then it kicks you back. Yeah, we're gonna be playing this game every week from now on. We're not gonna skip out on it. The stench of this man is indescribable. Hey, bub. Could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm brokey. Look, you, can't, you can barely see it, but I have no money. I'm fucking broke. <laughs> Okay. Okay, maybe I should move face cam to the right. Or to the left, rather. Don't mind me. I'm just moving shit around. <laughs> Rip Bozo Brokey. Shut up. Shut up. Y'all broke bitches too, okay? I'm over here now. Hopefully I don't have to move it back. <clears throat> okay, I have no money, so literally can't donate anything. I ain't broke, I swear. I mean, you're probably broke after yesterday, huh? Oh, 
Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. Thanks, I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. Here's five dollars. Oh, you were rich. Here's five dollars for your help. <laughs> okay, let's go give some money to the brokey. I just did my tax return before you started stream. I need to do it, but I need to change my address first. So I need to like mail in my address change and then I can file, I think. Let's give him five bucks. I'm a socialist. <laughs> Are you sure you want to donate five dollars to Smelly Hobo? That's not a nice way to refer to him. You have donated five dollars to Smelly Hobo. Thank you kindly. Okay, he's just gonna ask for more money. I mean, five dollars will like barely buy you lunch nowadays. Okay, I genuinely forgot what I have to do. <laughs> um, awkward. Because I think the last mission we did was drop off Basil. And then, yeah. I oh, can't go in the street because we don't want to get hit. $5 Taco Bell box without tax. See, that's where it gets you. The tax. Oh my god. The scar- the, the car spooked me. <laughs> oh, a scooter? Can we cop that? A sleek silver scooter. Short hair girl. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. Is it me, actually? <laughs> Okay, we already went in these sections. I think maybe I just need to go home. Oh! You see that? That tree right up here? It was shaking. Look, it's still shaking. Huh? Looks like Aubrey isn't here. Oh wait, I know you. Your name's Charlie, right? I see you hanging around Aubrey sometimes. You know where she is. You know, Charlie, I can tell you're not really the mean type of person. Aubrey took something important from Basil. We need to get it back. Is there any way you could help us? I wonder what's behind that tree. Fuck. <laughs> well, they're dead. Whoa, what and where now? What'd you do that for? Ah. If it isn't killing that weird knife guy. We're the adversaries for the great and mighty angel. Finally, it is time for you to meet your doom. Angel, we don't have time for this. We just want to find Aubrey. Do you know where she is? You seek Aubrey, do you? Interesting. I will tell you what I know. But first, he must best be in a battle. Battle? But... I don't... want to punch a kid. You won't be able to lay a finger on me. Come on! Let's sick him, Charlie. A fight? Are they gonna peace I to punch us? Okay, I think the combat music has to be the best in the game. Okay, what will Sunny and Kale do? Fight, Avi. I think Kel is an offensive, so it doesn't really matter. Or what does his skills do? Let's do encourage. <laughs> to 
just chucking a basketball? <laughs> You surprised me, Cal. You'd make a worthy rival for my master. Okay. Become a hate watcher? I just do fully offensive attacks usually. Oh no, Cal said. You! You'll pay for this! Oh, easy. How could this be? My training was all for nothing. Ow, my head hurts. You're the one who started it. You bully. Okay, Angel. It's time to be serious now. We beat you and Charlie, so tell us where Aubrey is. Hmm. Promise is a promise, I suppose. I will honor my word and tell you what I know. The truth is, Aubrey is somewhere in far away town. Probably. Dang it, Angel! You better not be messing around or else. I told you I'd tell you what I know. And the truth is, I don't know anything! <laughs> Angel, you better tell us where she is now. Or else I'll tell everyone about that time you wet your bed at summer camp. Huh, what? You can't do that, that's cheating! Anyway, I, I really don't know. Maybe you can ask my master, the Maverick. He's the keeper of all knowledge. He told me that himself. Knowledge. Here in my garage. <laughs> the Maverick? Oh no, you mean that weird kid... Michael? Don't you dare call him by that name. He would take great offense to that. I see. So, it is him. Where can I find Mike? I mean, the, uh, Maverick? I'll tell you what I know. But, you'll have to fight me first. Or I can tell you everyone about that time. You, ah! Okay, fine, I'll talk. Master went to the fountain at the faraway plaza. He said he was gonna meet some girls there for a date or something. Uh. Disgusting. Come on, Sonny. Dude, the voices keep changing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. Let's go to Faraway Plaza. I think we're done here. Sorry, I, I, I saw your message earlier, Chip, but that's really cute. <laughs> Breaking at the power points. I feel like that's something that, like, high school graduates will do with their parents. I'm like, I'm gonna be a YouTuber or I'm gonna be a streamer. And I'm gonna take a gap year. <laughs> and then I told him, it's not Maverick. It's THE Maverick. Oh, THE Maverick, you're so funny! <laughs> wow, what an amazing- Oh wait, this is girl. Oh wow, what an amazing story, THE Maverick! Girls, girls, please! There's enough of me to go around. Dude, he's so cool. Michael? What are you doing? Ah! If it isn't Kel, my arch nemesis, finally here to defeat me. Or finally here to admit defeat, are you? I don't have time for this, Michael. We're looking for Aubrey. Have you seen her around? Stop calling me that. I cast away that name a long time ago. Michael, do you know where she is or not? Again with that godforsaken name. How dare you make a fool out of me? I, the Maverick, will not stand for this. Prepare to face your doom. Watch this, ladies. I'll wipe the floor with this loser. Please, Michael, don't do this to yourself. I'm gonna ask one more time. Fuck me, you wad! That sounds like a slur. <laughs> Don't be a chicken! Are we really gonna do this? Okay then. Come on, Sonny. Let's take him down. 
Easy. Oh, Kel, you pitiful fool. You don't stand a chance against the Maverick. Okay, so Sonny can self-heal. Kale's angry. Oh, dude, Kale's gonna fucking die. He has 19 health. I, I didn't even look. Oh, and I have nothing. Oh, right here. Okay. Easy. Not bad. But this fight's just starting. Okay, neither of us do a lot of attack. And it's kind of disheartening. <laughs> As expected of my rival. But I must tell you, while you were fooling around and playing sports, I was honing my techniques just for this moment. You'll never reach my level of skill. You're going down, Kel. you got? I've only been using 10% of my power. Behold, my final form. I bet you're regretting your decision now. I'm just way too cool for you. You're nothing but a loser. Okay, he looks the same. Okay, I have to heal kill. I gotta. Honestly, it's kind of unfair that we're doing 2v1. It's only a matter of time before you tie yourselves out. My victory is imminent. I'll admit, I'm impressed, but you're still light years away from defeating me. Capo. No, this is impossible, improbable, absolutely inconceivable. <laughs> I want to watch the Princess Bride again. I've been wanting to. I have it purchased on YouTube. I actually might watch it like tonight or tomorrow. Okay, bro, get this guy in a nailer. Jeez. Ah, uh, no. I won't let it end like this. No. It can't be over for me. People of Earth. Lend me your strength. I, uh... Ew, what is with this guy? He's so lame. This isn't worth $10. Let's get out of here. What was he charging for? What? Ladies, please come back. I have more money. Oh, he was paying them to like, just follow him. Ugh. He had a wig. Michael. There is no one here by that name. Please, I'll never ask you for anything again in my life. Just tell me where Aubrey is and we'll go. Okay, fine. I do happen to know where she is and I'll tell you. On one condition. You must call me by my true name, the Maverick. Oh, forget it. Let's just go find Kim. She probably knows where Aubrey is. 
Her and Vance are major sugar heads, so... I have a hunch that they're probably somewhere near candy. Sugar heads? Honestly, that's kind of what I am. I can love sugar. Look, I have ice cream. That's melted. You know what some viewers don't have? Father emotes. Because, guys, we are 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you're new here and you aren't following, follow, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure notifications turned on. Easy. <clears throat> hmm. Knowing Kim and Vance, they're probably somewhere around here. Oh, hey! There she is! Hurry, Vance! Let's shove it all in our pockets before someone sees us! Hey, Kim! Have you seen Aubrey anywhere? Shoot! It's a nerd Kel! Come on, Vance! We gotta go! Whoa! Hold on there! I don't think you paid for those! Get out of the way, nerd! You don't know me! Hey, hey, hold on! I'm not here to snitch. We just need to find Aubrey. You know where she is? Huh? Aubrey? I... I don't know anything about that. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. I've heard enough of this for today. Kim, let's make a deal. A deal? You tell me where Aubrey is and I won't turn you in for stealing all that candy. You said you were a snitch. And I don't need to be if you just tell me where Aubrey is. You two again? I thought I told you to never come back in here, smiley smiley. Uh-oh. Hand over that stolen candy. Don't make me call the cops on you kids, smiley smiley. We've been busted. Fine. Here's your stupid candy. Come on, Vance. Let's get out of this dump. <laughs> Serves you right. Wait. How do we... How will we find out where Aubrey is now? Uh, come on, Sonny. Let's follow him. Hold up one sec, Sonny. I think I have an idea. You buy the candy, and then you bribe them. Sorry for the holdup. Let's go catch up with Kim and Vance. Sorry, Vance. No candy today. No. Not again. I don't know how much longer I can last. We're gonna die. Let's just go home. We're gonna be late for dinner. Wait, Kim. I have something for you. You again, Cal? What the heck do you want, you bully? Tell us where Aubrey is and I'll give you this whole big bag of candy. Really? The whole bag? I mean, wait. If you can't buy us off with candy, who do you take us for? I don't know, Kim. We haven't had candy for an entire week. There's a whole bag right in front of us. We don't even have to pay for it. Can you at least ask if he has any taffy in there? Stop it, Vance. We have to stay strong. When we go to Dad's house, we'll be, we'll be able to have all the candy we want. Okay. I'll do it for you, sis. Kim. Vance. I'm waiting. <laughs> like we'd accept candy from a bunch of nerds. Oh, man. Really? I was sure that would work. This is such a waste of time. Let's get out of here. Wait, please.
Please, Kim, you're the only lead I got. Please take the big bag of candy. We... We even have... Taffy in here. Did someone say Taffy? I see. That changes everything. Fine. You really want to know that badly, huh? Let's settle this with our fists! If you win, I'll tell you where Aubrey is. But if we win, you give us that big bag of taffy and will never talk to us ever again. Wait a sec, there's no need to fight. If you just tell me where she is, I'll give you this whole bag. But, I'm gonna fight. Come on, put them up, you two. It's time to duke it out. Kids these days, man. What is with you guys in fighting? Well, I guess we have no choice. Come on, Sonny. You know the drill. This is like our third fight today, Jesus Christ. I show you that size isn't everything. I'm not about to lose to nerds like you. Oh my god, what the fuck? Vance has like candy sticking out of his pocket. He's got some right there. I don't get why he's freaking out. Your face annoys me. Why are you beating up kids with basketballs? Because then our DNA doesn't get on our hands. Mm-hmm. Have you never been in a real fight? <laughs> oh, Kale's dead. GG's. You're still nerds. Minus one, plus one. Okay, I have no way to revive Kel, so R.I.P. Ouch, that hurts. Dang. Only one of was some taffy. I can't believe we lost. We can never let Aubrey know about this. Come on, Kim. We gotta go home. It's almost time for dinner. Mom's gonna be really mad if we're late. Shoot. Let's get out of here. Wait. Where do you think you're going? We once you need to tell us where Aubrey is. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Aubrey's at the church. The one near her house. Huh? Aubrey's at... Church? Hey, don't look at me. You're the one who wanted to know. Also, if she asks who told you, tell her it wasn't me. Say it was... Michael or something. Come on, Kim, we gotta scoot. You know mom gets when we're late. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. 
Let's go. Smell you later, nerds. <laughs> I've done that too, dropping the phone off the bed. <laughs> what I've done though, I have like this little like foldable stand. Like you know how you can put your phone on the table? So when I'm watching videos from bed isn't falling asleep, I put my phone in the stand that way I'm not holding it. And I haven't dropped my phone since. <clears throat> oh, nuts! They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking! Those two have got some sticky fingers. Oh well. At least we know where Aubrey is now. Or at least, I think we do. I can't really imagine Aubrey at church, but I believe it when I see it. Okay, let's go find the church. Basil's house was this way? Yeah, that's Basil's. Oh, I didn't think they'd answer. I would never answer the door if someone knocks. Hey, stranger! You're just in time to help critique my latest work in progress! Okay. Quit your yapping. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? Yeah? Thanks, I thought so too. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh. And... Voila. Ah, it looks so much better. Very nice. Yeah, let's just do a little bit of snooping. An unfinished painting. Oh, dude. I used to have to sleep on a futon mattress for a few years when I was younger. It's the worst. I don't know how people can sleep like that normally. I read somewhere that mattresses are actually worse for your back, but it's not comfortable. Dude, put your clothes in the basket. It's literally right there. Well, they have a regular bed. They probably sleep in their studio. Oh, they have easels outside too. I'm talking about paint. I bought some paint this morning, literally right before stream. <laughs> so shout out to everybody who donated yesterday. You guys literally, because I bought fifty dollars worth of paint, so all of the donations yesterday covered all the paint that I bought. So thank you. There's no response. Damn. No response. This house looks... I heard a whooshing sound. Looks abandoned. Oh, geez, the cars! Oh my god, they're going way too fast. Hmm. No one is answering. Maybe Beazle's in the bathroom or something. Well, that's okay. We can catch up with him later. Come on, Sonny. We got a photo album to find. Oh yeah, because Aubrey stole her photo album. That's what happened. <laughs> There's no response. 
No response again. Damn, why is nobody answering the door? <gasps> Some mad scientists, maybe? There's no response. <laughs> Rough guy. Hey, kids! You're just in time to watch me fix this pipe once and for all. <coughs> come in, come in. Why does he want to show us the pipes? Ew. This place is dirty. Just a few more last minute adjustments and I can finally put this baby to rest. The sweet sound of silence at last. <laughs> Rats. I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's a dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. Plus one! Hi, Mag. Welcome in. Was that the principal's office? Uh, don't share if it's crazy, but I hope you're okay, man. Oof. Was I ever called to the principal's office? Hmm. I used to go to the guidance office all the time in middle school. Like, did you get in trouble or did you just need, like, somebody to talk to? I think the only time I got called to the principal's office was when... Um. Okay, don't self-report, Chris. Don't self-report. <laughs> in Minecraft, of course. Twitch staff in Minecraft. <laughs> I had problems, damn. Why are we, why are we so many fucking edge lords in chat? What is going on? I didn't fight. Okay, but either way, don't self-report. Twitch staff, they're kidding. See, okay, that's the crazy thing about, like, school nowadays, is, like... Can you get in trouble for, like, not reporting a fight or, like, just recording it? Like, what is the rules around it? No, sadly? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay, Chad, let's not talk about this. We're playing a game, goddammit. <laughs> well, here we are. This really is the last place I would expect her. You can get in trouble if you record it. That's what I thought, too. I'm trying to think. Were there any fights at my school? I saw a fight almost happen in one of my classrooms. Because, like, there was, this, there was these two kids, and one they were, like, annoying each other. And then they were both my friends, and I knew they both had shit going on. And then one of them, like, grabbed him around the neck like this and started choking him. And then at that point, everybody was, like, looking at them and then he stopped. And then the teacher pulled him out into the hallway and she didn't report it to the principal at all. Because she knew they would get, like, in a lot of trouble. So she's like, this is your warning. Don't do this shit again. And then they were friends after. <laughs> so I think that's the closest thing that I've seen to, like, a fight fight. But any fights that happened in school never happened at school. They would happen, like, off campus after school or some shit. Just like... There's a fight in your school, like, every week? Fuck, dude. That sucks. Like... It's unfortunate. Because I feel like the school environment... You're, you're kind of like stuck with each other in school. Like, you can't you, you can't hang out with your friends. You're very much like... In the classroom with who you're in the classroom with. 
And especially with social media, there's so much shit that can happen in the span of like a few hours. Like rumor spreading, I feel like is more prominent now. Online bullying is really concerning. So I feel like tensions are always going to be at an all-time high. So it's like, what can we really do to combat it? I don't know. Damn. Kids, chatters, let me just say this. I think you should treat everyone with kindness and respect. No need to fight. Should you fight back if somebody hits first, though? That's what I'm like... That's something I've always been conflicted about, because... Obviously, if you're involved in a fight, even if you don't do shit, you still get in trouble, usually. So it's like... What do you do? I, I would never advocate for violence, Switch Def. I would never... But, you know, do what you feel is right. But don't go, don't do shit to, like, get yourself into juvie, okay? I was told to hit back by my mom. I feel like... I think it depends. I think it depends. <clears throat> like, you have to... Shit, let me clean that. <laughs> Okay, saved. Um, because, like, the thing I'm scared of, for, like, any student in general, is, like, if there's a fight, how is it gonna get de-escalated? Because in my middle school and high school, all of the security officers who were, they weren't police officers, but they were security, they dressed like police officers. And, like, from my high school, the actual police station was, like, a block away. So if something happened, they'd be there instantly. Um... <clears throat> but all those security officers had guns on them, so it's like, not saying that they would escalate to that extent, but it's still kind of, like, scary. Um, security people would tackle people? Yeah, I've seen that, but I'm, I'm still scared of, like, how far people could go, potentially. Not necessarily intentionally, but it's like fight or flight, you don't, you don't know. So... They would pepper spray kids? What the fuck? That's- okay, I hate America. Let's play the game. <laughs> Let's play the game. Um, TLDR. Do not be aggressive. Do not start fights. But if you somehow get involved in one, just don't fucking die. And don't seriously harm somebody, okay? Okay, can I just say? With my big brain condition, literally, if I get bopped in the head, it could kill me. So, if you're gonna fight, which I would never advocate for, if you're gonna fight, just be mindful of shit like that. You, you never know, like, if you accidentally push someone over, they hit their head and they die. So, like, just be careful, okay? Anyway, gaming time! <laughs> Awkward. I gotta go. Okay, good luck, Riz. <clears throat> <clears throat> Can we get some peace? I too praise for Chris. Holy. You stay safe, man. <clears throat> Bonk on the head. Gotta write this down. No. I said don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> Did anyone ever try to fight you? No. <laughs> uh, there was one time. It was during lunchtime. One of my friends was like playfully punching my arm like this. And the vice principal walked by and looked at us. He's like, hey, knock it off. <laughs> and we were like, okay. <laughs> so that's the closest I've ever gotten to. 
But no, not a serious fight. Because I'm, I'm not the aggressive type anyway. And it's like, I don't think I did anything to antagonize anybody, right? I'm a very good person. Smile. Yeah, let's get back to it. Actually, you know who else are very good people? The people who are subscribed. Because if you are subscribed, you get to avoid the ad break that is coming your way right now. Ain't no way. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your tuition. Hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we'll keep playing. We're not going to talk about fights anymore. Right? <laughs> anyway, non-subs get boomed. Get us some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. The 20th is National Pancake Day. And I hope it's giving away free pancakes. What day is that? That's Tuesday. Hmm. Should we do an IRL stream at IHOB? No. <laughs> I would never do that. I would never do that. I would leak. Because the closest IHOB to me is like... How about we make... I hate pancakes though. I hate pancakes. What if we made pancakes? And IRL stream would go crazy? Yeah. I mean... No, I am not gonna entertain that idea. <laughs> it's not safe. Because <laughs> what if I leak? And that's bad. How can you hate pancakes? It's not, like, sweet enough. What if we do... What if we do, like, a breakfast spread stream? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But then I have to buy shit. Because we can make eggs, we can make sausages. Ooh, I can make biscuits and gravy. Hmm. Wait, let me actually check what- full cam. <laughs> Guys, we, we barely played the game. <laughs> oh, let's see. National Pancake Day. Oh yeah, because I think the EU people are saying it was yesterday, but in the States it is the 28th. Oh, what? Oh, okay, so there's... National Pancake Day is the 28th, and then there's a second Pancake Day on... September 26th. Hmm. I will- I will ponder. We'll do a poll on Twitter. Let me do that real quick. <clears throat> We're live tweeting, guys. Okay, for... National Pancake Day. February 28th. Should I do a... Breakfast cooking stream. Okay, Chris saved Wholesome Chatter once again. <laughs> Okay, we good. Okay, for National Pancake Day, February 28th, should I do a breakfast cooking stream? Whole length, let's do... Let's do 12 hours. <clears throat> okay, Chatters, poll is up on Twitter. Go follow my Twitter, go vote on that poll. Should we do a breakfast cooking stream on Pancake Day? <gasps> we can do pancake art! That would go crazy. Okay. Uh, I've always wanted to do pancake art. Okay, everybody please vote yes in that poll. But then we gotta buy a lot of shit. Oilers? <laughs> I'd have to buy a pancake, you know. And the little baggies. Oilers? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let's go to the goddamn game. <laughs> I'm kind of skeptical, actually. It might be a trap. I'll open the door a little and take a peek. Hmm. Looks normal to me. I think they're in the middle of a sermon. Oh. There she is on the right. Oh, uh, she's just... Sitting there. All normal. So weird. Yeah, I'd feel pretty bad about interrupting this. We should probably wait until the sermon is over or something. Where are those scientists run off to? Far away cemetery. Aubrey's old blue bike. Should we interrupt the services? Do you want to go into the church? Yeah? Whoa, I didn't expect you to just walk in like that, Sonny. Well, there's no turning back now. Come on, we have to be really quiet. There she is on the right. Let's walk to the pew behind her. Can I sit? doing here we want to give you back basil's or we want you to give back basil's photo album you're still on about that that's none of your business really none of my business we also be best we all used to be best friends but now this is none of my business yeah Kel. exactly we used to be friends you know mario would be really sad to hear that Really? You really want to bring Mari into this? Who cares what Mari thinks? Mari's dead. Oh. Aubrey, seriously? What's wrong with you? I get that you have new friends now, but you can't just forget your old friends like that. My old friends? My old friends weren't there for me when I needed them. So that's what this is all about? When Mari... passed on... we were all dealing with our own stuff. We were kids. It was hard. You think it's so simple? You've always been so simple, Kel. So what if I am? I'd rather be simple than be like you. How could you do that to Basil? You know how important his photo... <laughs> Sorry. You know how important his photo album is to him? It's important to all of us. That doesn't mean you can just steal it. Is that what Basil told you? I'm the one keeping it safe. What are you talking about? That photo album belongs to Basil, and I'm not leaving until you agree to give it back. Ugh, you're so persistent. When Mari died, you moved on so fast. You know why I come here every week? Even after all this time, I'm still trying to find some peace. But it doesn't look like that's happening today. We haven't talked in four years, Kel. A lot has changed in four years. You want Sunny think you can barge back into my life and tell me what to do? Don't be so naive. You might look and act different, Aubrey. But you're still the same person. Hmm. The Aubrey you knew is long gone. And the Aubrey that was your friend? She's long gone too. 
How old are they now? They're probably like late teens, I think. Because I, I think something happened when they were like 10. I think Omori stabbed Mari. Okay, fine. I get that you're angry. Look, if it's, if it's an apology you want here, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been there for you when we lost Mari. No. I won't accept this. Wait! Where are you going? I can't let you go until you promise you'll give Basil his photo album back, you thief! What's happening, Basil? Isn't that the boy who... I've seen Aubrey and his friends bully. No, she's stealing as well. Oops. <laughs> okay, I think what happened... Because you know, you know how like, sometimes little kids, they're just like fucking weird sometimes? I think Basil... Because it seems like Omori and Basil are like really close. They're really close. I think Basil manipulated Omori into killing Mari. Because, like, in all the, like, in the lore pictures and, like, the intro sequences or the little cutscenes in between chapters, it shows Basil and Omori together. I think Basil used his mind powers <laughs> and gaslighting skills to make Omori stab Mari because Basil's jealous. Because Mari is Amori's sister. So therefore, Mari takes all of Amori's attention away from Basil. That's my theory. You think you're the good guy, don't you, Cal? And I'm the big bad bully. Here to terrorize poor defenseless Basil. You don't want to hang out with a psychopath that carries around a knife. Now's not the time to do this, Aubrey. You don't get to say that. You don't want to barged in here. I already said I was sorry for everything. <coughs> if you want me to be a bully, then I'll be a bully. You two better come at me quick, or I'll come at you first. Ooh, we're fighting in the church. <laughs> church fight. I should keep up with the streams. Um, Chris, check out the pin message. I do have the previous boss from this game on YouTube. Beat her up. No, I think you... I think we did something fucked up. Like, I think my theory is true. Very real and true. Oh my god, hi, baddie. Can we get some pizza to, to yo's for baddie? Well, this music is cool. We haven't heard this yet. Oh, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I had one health. Look at her clothing! It is completely inappropriate for church. Oh my god, Heiko Bobo! Oh, come on! Hmm. Serves you right, Kel. Now, leave me alone. I feel like I was supposed to lose that fight anyway, because she just one hit KO'd Amori. Or Sunny. Ever since her father left, she's so uncontrollable, disrespectful. I feel bad for her mother. Damn. Shoot. I know she's been kind of messed up lately, but I still feel sorry for her. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, look at all these old people gossiping. They don't even know all the drama. Oh, a twin. Our family comes to church once a week. Sometimes twice. Sometimes thrice. Can we go on stage? Yes, we can. Hmm. I usually wouldn't condone fighting in the middle of a sermon. But that seemed really important. That girl Aubrey has come here every week for the past few years, but she never talks to anyone. 
I tried to approach her a few times, but she keeps calling me, um, bad things. She seems very troubled. Perhaps she could use a friend. Yeah, we're gonna be best friends after that, Tobacco. Church going. I just want to spend my day off in peace. <laughs> We're disrupting the harmony. Church going. It's about time that girl ran off. Now maybe all my friends will come back to church again. I reserve my judgment. The Lord will be the one to judge you. Okay, she beat our ass. She's the one who started that fight, technically. Where are your manners off brawling around like that? You should be ashamed. She started it. Is her bike gone? Yep, she took her bike. Oh. Is this her house? Because, like, based on, like, the whispers you heard for the churchgoers, I think she lives with her mom. Oh, we got trash! We love trash. Did you see that? Aubrey just dumped something into her trash can. Let's go check it out. Whoa! I don't believe it! It's Basil's photo album! I can't believe she would just throw it out like that. It's a good thing we looked through this trash can. But on the bright side, at least we have Basil's photo album now. It only took us half a day, too. Talk about teamwork. How about a high five, Sonny? Okay, peace like to stop. High five. Give it a high five, Kel? Yeah, why not? Oh, dude. <laughs> he slapped the shit out of us. Let's give this back to Basil before it gets dark. He'll be so happy when he sees it. Of course she wouldn't answer. Okay, let's go to Basil's. Hopefully nothing bad happens. <laughs> knock, knock! Basil! It's your friends Cal and Sunny. Oh, hello there. Who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh. Wait, you're not Basil. Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Cal. What is it? Hi, Basil. We got your photo album back. Huh? 
You did? Wow. Thank you. You gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always cook a just a little too much. Dinner? Sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sonny, free dinner. Wait, if Mari's dead in this universe, right? Because the first time someone knocked at our door, it was Mari. But she would have been dead. Damn, I, w I wish I would have opened the door. Hmm. Please, make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Oh, this morning, I made gorgonzola stuffed... Gorgonzola is like, like kind of a blue cheese. I made gorgonzola stuffed chicken, and it's really good. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Huh. Yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came over here more often. Hey, you sh- Oh, <laughs> just reading the whole wrong word. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo album back, we can go through all the photos together. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know. It's been a while since you looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um. Sure. Okay. Is he gonna, like, open the album and all the photos are gonna be, like, torn out? Here it is. There's some new photos. Is that a motherfucking calculator? <laughs> oh, I'll leave. That's Mari. Oh, Basil must have taken out all the pictures of Aubrey. Wait, no, is that Aubrey? No, I think that is Aubrey. Okay, there's 12 candles on that cake. Yeah, there's like actually so many. Yeah, I think that's Mari. Oh wait, I can read the descriptions. I didn't see that. Okay, so this is the start of the school year in September. Let's see when the first one is. I think it's a game console, not a calculator. I was joking, obviously. <laughs> but look, it looks like a goddamn calculator. Okay, 12-25 Christmas. My first photo. Okay, so this is uh, probably over the course of a year. It's my best friend Sonny trying to figure out- or trying out his new violin. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play at recitals with his sister, Mari. So exciting. Okay, let's actually read through all these. 218, my birthday. Just Kel being Kel. So, many party hats. I gotta sneeze. Okay, I'm good. 218, my birthday. Sunny playing a video game on the couch. Sunny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting to him when I get upset or stressed. 
Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. Okay, I think... Since Basil has a caretaker when it looks like they're, like, teenagers... It either means... He's, like, disabled? Or he doesn't have parents around. So we don't necessarily know exactly what's going on yet. March 9th. We're back from the park, but Kel is still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. March 9th. Oof. Sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. March 9th. Kel was still feeling a little sour after losing a hero in an arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, brotherly love. Oh, so they are brothers. Oh, wait, because in this timeline, um, Hero is already off to college, I think. <clears throat> March 10th. Me showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mari stole my camera and took this while I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. March 10th. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just get- I wish I could just lay here forever. April 21st. Mari's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mari's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mari thought so too. April 21st. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. April 29th. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a picture of her with a new raincoat. Okay, so there are no pictures of Mari. So this is Aubrey. So... Hmm. It's her favorite color, pink. April 29th. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. April 29th. Just Kel being Kel again. We went to Hobie's, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jacket outside since Kel was getting all his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. May 25th. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was as fearless as him. June 22nd. It's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. June 22nd. Kel is cooling off with some refreshing orange joe. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. April tw or June 22nd. We buried Sarni in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's gonna need help getting out. I guess I'll keep him company until then. July 20th. Sunny's birthday. Yay! Sunny's turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are, the same, are in the same school year, Sunny is younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. July 20th, Sunny's birthday. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mari and Hiram. Hmm, I wonder what it is. July 20th, Sunny's birthday. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hiram got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kitten, Meow. July 21st. Sunny's birthday. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Meow's new home. August 4th. We're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel, ready to pounce on his next victim. 
Oh, and Sunny's there too. He looks kind of sleepy. Oh, you can see Sunny like barely in the background here. <clears throat> August 14th. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a picture of himself by accident, but I don't believe him. September 9th. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. September 9th. Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. And that's the end. Oh man. It looks like a lot of photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be the taller brother. <laughs> anyway, don't sweat it about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sydney will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner is taking longer than I thought. Would any of you, boy Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. Basil's gonna say some creepy ass shit now. Oh. Hi. Sunny. Is that all you got to say, huh? Okay. It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> I don't think Basil likes this. Oh, why are you staring at me like that? Um, Sunny? Is everything okay? Dude, Basil looks so scared. A bunch of books. Oh, I can save! Uh-oh, what does that mean if I can save? Okay, we're still at three days left. Oh my god, is that Pewson? Ain't no way. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Cabbages, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. Damn, no meat? No protein? What is this house? Tonight for dinner we're making chicken vegetable soup. How's that sound? Soup and veggies? Sounds nutritious and delicious. You really think so? I was afraid you'd be a bit disappointed. People always tell me that my taste is a bit bland. Don't worry about what other people think. All food is good to me. I'll eat anything you throw at me. Dinner will be ready soon. Please feel free to make yourself at home. But I want to help. Okay, they're just saying the same thing. We're gonna go upstairs and see blood everywhere. <laughs> Who's this? Hazel's grandma is breathing steadily. Oh! <laughs> A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into my dreams, or into your dreams. I thought this was like a statue or something. Uh oh. Oh, Sunny! 
I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sonny? Is everything okay with you? Okay. Never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. He also give you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was it was all a bad dream. Okay, bye, Crystal. It's hard to remember now, but I I think at the time I took photos of what I was most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day things can go back to the way they were before. Sonny! Basil! Dinner's ready! Okay, coming! Damn, she got that IV set up. <laughs> Pull it out? No. <laughs> no. I already killed Mari. I can't be killing grandmas now. Basil's camera. It looks really dusty. Oh, and he's got little Polaroids hanging on the wall, too. We're gonna go downstairs and see blood everywhere. <laughs> Polly and Kel's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Yes, sir. Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipe. Thanks for your help, Kel. So, as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow... Uh, my older brother here was finally coming back from college. My mom's all crazy right now, preparing the house and everything. Don't want to be anywhere near that mess. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> You and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh. I... I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. Sonny's moving? Oh, yeah. I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh. No, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Um. May I be excused? I, I, I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> Dude, Kel is clueless. 
Should we follow Basil to the bathroom and do some stabby stabby? <laughs> Everything is gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be okay. Oh, it's you. Sunny, you're here. I'm so glad. Yo, you can see it too, can't you? Something behind you? Should we do a little... <laughs> Sunny! Why? Why do you look so scared? Sunny? Everything is okay now, isn't it? Oh look, he's following me! Dude, I look so dead. My eyes. Oh. Wait! Please, Sonny! Don't leave me! Sonny! We're gonna walk in and there's gonna be blood everywhere. Oh, I can't go in. Oh, hey, Sonny! I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah. Anyway, Polly, if you ever need me, here's my address. I live just down the block. Thanks, Kel. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Does Kel have a crush? Uh, say goodbye to Gay. <laughs> say goodbye to Basil for me, not Gay Hazel. <laughs> You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really. Just a nurse who's taking care of Basil's grandmother. Oh, so it's the grandma's caretaker. Okay. Oh, okay. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel out of the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil when I'm here, but... Ever since I started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Uh-oh. Basil! Oh, Basil! Ah, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Okay, I think it's gonna say the same thing. Okay, I think Basil is, holy shit, is like, 
anxious or depressed. And so is Sunny. But it seems like Basil makes Sunny wallow in it with him. Yeah, I don't remember where home is. <laughs> These are some nice houses, though. Oh, there's a safe spot. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, though, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Daryl's coming back from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So, if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. But I'm gonna have nightmares. I have a knife. There's an eye to the left. Is that Mari's room? Wait, I can't go anywhere. Whispers emanate from inside the box. I can't do anything. I'm trying to like slice everything and then press A. Oh my god, stop! Nice. Guess mom didn't make dinner tonight.
The door is locked. Okay, I, I can't do anything. Okay, I'm stuck. I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. Yeah, I'm clicking on everything. Do you still recognize your home? No. Mari hasn't been home in a long time. Okay, so only the open boxes are giving dialogue. Yeah, I can't destroy the open boxes. Okay, there's no more. There's like no way for me to get over here to this side door. Okay, can I look it up? I, I genuinely don't know what. Okay. 
That's new. I can't go back. How much was the game? I got the hard copy, so I think I paid $30. It's probably digital's, I assume, gonna be less. I can't go backwards! Oh, it's cutting me. Stop. Sonny's afraid. Attacks do nothing. Can I run? Nope. It does nothing. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? <laughs> it seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things and figure out what's important. You clear your mind to remember how to focus. We're focusing. Everything's back to normal now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. I looked away for a second and heard the sound and I got scared. <laughs> well, the table's gone. I think Amori killed Mari. I, st I still go with my theory. A game theory. Oh. I 
I know what happens. Yeah, no spoilers. Mom's room. <laughs> Your laptop made a short shortcut to my channel. That's pretty cool, though. Mom's sticky note. Hi, Sonny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. Hugs and... Hugs and kisses. Oh, it's gone. Stare. You have a new message. Hi, Sonny. It's Mommy. How you doing? Are you eating well? <laughs> I'll stop. I'll stop. I was hoping that I could make it back to see you today, but it's the last day of the of a big furniture sale, and I just can't resist a good bargain. You can take care of yourself for a few days, right? After all, you're a big boy now. Remember to finish your chores before I get back. I left the list on the table next to your door. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. So I think Amori is 16. It's gotta be it. Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Can I go to bed? Yes, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm scared. Was that Mari? See, it's fucking Basil! Basil's making me evil! back here Welcome to White Space You've been living here for as long as you can remember. What time is it? 107? Oh, we're back here, baby! God damn it. It's about time we got back to the white space. You know what else it's time for? A motherfucking ad, because chatters, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to tell you that ads are coming your way. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime available. After the ad, we'll keep playing. We'll play for another hour-ish. Oh, it's trying to bait for ads? Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, you didn't get me. I thought that was genuine. <laughs> Fuck you, man. That was good. <laughs> Ideal meal. <laughs> We're back here again. My finger slipped. PC2 snicker. <laughs> Thank you, Keelan, for 100 bits. Thank you. Can we get some wheelins in chat? Thank you, Keelan. Um, you will get your name written in the Caligraphy Journal of the Industry. But thank you for the 100 bits. 
keeping your Yep, you're number one on gifter and cheer. You're crazy. Okay. <laughs> So what now? Okay, no new drawings. Waiting for something to happen? A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Ah, shit. Here we go again. At least we got to see the real world. And in this reality, Mari's alive. Oh, Mari, welcome back. See, hero? I told you not to worry. Oh, Mari always shows up when we need him. Is everything okay, Mori? We were worried about you. Now that you're here, let's go out and look for Basil. He's counting on us. Be patient, Kel. You have to make sure that Omori is okay first. Or maybe you and Hiro can go yourselves. Come on, Omori. Let's go exploring together. Just the two of us. Was oh, she trying to bang? Hey, you can't leave us out of this. He's right, Aubrey. We have to do this together as a team. You never know when you'll need someone's help. We're stronger when we work together. Hmm. Amori and I will be fine on our own. You'll, pro you'll protect me, won't you, Amori? Ew, gross. Get a room. Come on, Aubrey. It's time to get serious now. Let's go tell Amori that Amori is okay. You know, she's always worrying about him. Okay, okay, fine. I was just trying to have a little fun. Sag, Mari. Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. You got 750 clams. No more nickels, we're getting sweet clams. Or oh, we're back here. <gasps> Mari! Hi Mari, look! Amori's here! Amori! Stop disappearing like that. You know my heart can't take it. Hmm. So there's still no sign of Basil? Where could he be? We're not sure. We've been looking for him everywhere and still nothing. I hope Basil's okay. I miss him so much. Yeah. I miss hearing him talk about all the stuff he's into. Like all the flower stuff and the photo stuff and... The art stuff and the reading stuff. My hair is so tangly. I miss when Basil used to brush my hair. Oh, Mori, will you brush it for me? Well, I miss when Basil used to remind me to wash my hands. Look, they're so dirty. Ew, Kel. <laughs> Kel, you should probably wash your hands anyway. Everyone, I know it's tough right now, but we have to stay positive. We should all try to be like Basil. Even when Basil is upset, he always manages to smile. Cause, cause okay. Cause in this reality, everyone's obsessing over Basil, right? Partially because he's missing. I still think my theory is true. I think... Basil made Omori kill Mori. So, is there anywhere you haven't checked yet? Well, 
There is a forest west of the stump, but it's gross and full of spiders. Ugh, spiders. Well, you know what that means. Once again, it's time to face your fears, little brother. And that means you too, hero. Come on, big bro, you can't back out now. It's just like how it was with Amori. We have to support you all the way. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm just being silly. It's over, you guys. If anyone or anything tries to hurt you, I'll smash it out of the way. You can count on it. And don't forget about me. I'll always be there to help, too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do this together. Let's go to the forest west of the stump. Lead the way, Amori. Back here. Okay, in the real world, we're Sunny, and then in the alternate world, we're Omori. Hi, Mori. Cliff faced as usual, I see. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. It doesn't look like Basil's anywhere in the vast forest after all. I wonder where he could have wandered off to. And that. Oh, wait, I clicked again. <laughs> Okay, the stump was up top. West is to the left. For once, rat is not rat. Oh boy, oh boy! I've been waiting so long for this event. It is a delightful day indeed. Oh yes, oh yes! At last, our glorious princess sweetheart will finally make her appearance. Oh my, oh my! I can hardly contain my excitement. The show is sure to be the most electrifying of them all. Oh dear, oh dear, you must hurry. Our four front row show tickets are right here. We are in time we are in for the time of our lives, and we must not be late. Now, which way do we go again? <laughs> okay. Are we gonna steal their tickets? Beat their asses? Attack again. Oh, I forgot when... When Hero is a call, it heals. Guys, I haven't played in a month. Two XP and eight clams, and we found show tickets. Interesting. <laughs> hey, cool. Those promos dropped some tickets. Let me see. Oh, they're from row tickets for some kind of show featuring Sweetheart. Wasn't that Captain Space Boy's ex girlfriend? Yeah, it looks like some sort of contest or something. If we happen to pass by, we should stop and watch. We do have front row... 
front row show tickets after all. Well, all right. Maybe we can drop by if we happen to come across it. Oh, I didn't want to go back here. We gotta find Basil. Well, at least there at least there's no paint anywhere. You ready to do this, Amori? We'll be right here if you need us. Right, Hira? Huh? Yeah, yeah, of course. You are no longer afraid of spiders. Easy. Mori, thanks for taking one for the team. Spiders aren't that bad. Firefly Forest. Uh. On second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There are just some spider webs here and there. Ah! There's a spider in your hair! What? Where? Get off! <laughs> just kidding. Look who's the scared one now. That's not very funny, Kel. Ooh, book. There's an empty joke book here. Pick it up. You got a joke book. The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams into the lake? Why not? I'm not a brokey. <gasps> Weeping Willow. Hey! It's me, Weeping Willow, the goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They do say that money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? Yes, sir. It doesn't look like you have any material on you. Come back when you have a joke or two. Come on, I can tell some jokes right now. Like... <laughs> I don't know. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. You guys, we gotta go get some content. You got a chicken wing. You got breadfruit juice. Okay, I couldn't get out of the minecart. <laughs> and press some buttons. I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything. It's just sending me back. Because Hero can fix things, I think. <laughs> Am I T-Web? 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not supposed to go there yet. I'm just going to try and switch out the leaders. Because if, if that doesn't work, then what else do I need to do? <sighs> I can't... Like, I'm pressing every button because I think maybe I can jump out? Okay, maybe I'm DUM. Come on, Cal. God, come on. Okay, I'm looking it up. I don't think I have anything that can help me. Oh, fuck, sorry, I dropped my phone. I'm looking it up because I, I have no clue. Okay, it says that I need to find the missing track. But it, it doesn't tell me where...
Okay, wooden tracks. Fuck, I clicked on an ad. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> the ad was playing. Okay, it doesn't like work. Tell me where to fucking find them. Okay, it says I can find them in the side rooms. Where are the side rooms? The back rooms? Okay, I. There's like no map. It says I can either go east or north, but going north is the train tracks. It, all, it says I have, I have to fight this guy, but nothing is triggering the fight. Oh, a peculiar face is indented into the wall. You're not sure what it means. Blind playthrough and you're, you're playing glasses? I think you should get a dictionary, my guy. <laughs> Okay, I'm clueless. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can't Aubrey smash it? Nope, she, she can't break the rock. How do I get to the side rooms? It, it doesn't... From room two, this walkthrough is stupid. Okay. First, I need to figure out how to navigate this area at all. So I'm reading, I'm reading. Okay, the group ventures through the misty forest when encountering a few foes in their path. After collecting three wooden tracks for an incomplete Minecraft track, the group uses the Minecraft to find their way through the forest. Oh, wait, I can just walk down here, it said. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't! I can just walk. I don't need to take the goddamn cart. Because it was telling me, oh, you need to go to these three rooms and get wooden blanks. And I was like, okay, but how do I get to the rooms? And I said, go north. How the fuck am I supposed to go north? I didn't know I could just walk. Um, chatters do not walk on railroad tracks. That's how you die. Okay, I won't look at the walkthrough anymore. I can't. Guys, I'm a pro streamer. 
big brain isn't big braining, it actually makes me stupider. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to hit it. Okay, everybody, now we're gaming. XP and 12 clams. I'm gonna be rich. Stinking rich. You got a granola bar. I should heal Kel. Never mind. He only, he only has half health, so all my food is... More than half health. You need a matchbox to light this candle. Okay. An uninteresting book. Another uninteresting book. Demi. Hmm. Want to read, want to read. I've read every book on the shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. I guess we gotta find a book. Spiders surround this web. Can't attack it. Now that can Aubrey. Nobody can. When someone is afraid, they can't use their skills. I forgot. It's a mechanic that was introduced when you're normal sunny, I think. to 2 XP and 16 clams. Okay, so if we can heal outside of battle. Yeah, here we go. Infinite heal glitch. You got a cherry soda. Got a matchbox. Hey, yo. Use that on the candle. Oh. <laughs> Why they do that? Go! 
Quickly! Okay, I gotta be faster. Speedrun! Go! Come on! Aw, oh, damn it, I was close. I got stuck. I got a wooden track. There we go. Plus one. Let's get the other two. XP and 32 clams. Aubrey leveled up and learned to whirl. Okay, so I think we're just gonna make sure that Hero is juiced up all the time. Grox is doing a Minecraft collab? Dude, the little zoomers are gonna eat that up. Okay, we need another matchbox to get over here. You got fries! God damn it. A potted plant? Um, oh fuck. A potted plant? Basil must be nearby. I haven't been drinking much. <laughs> 274 XP and 44 clams. Cal leveled up and learned run and gun. Hero leveled up and learned smile. Oh, there's Mari. She's still alive somehow. Floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you.
Can of the candle is here. Wait, I should heal since Mari's here. You and your friends feel like new. You got a present! And a potted plant. Seventy four XP and forty four clams. Hello, stranger. I have mush, and my lifelong dream has always been to be. <laughs> And my lifelong dream has always been to be eaten and enjoyed. Will you finally grant my wish and eat me? Yeah? Oh, thank you, stranger. You don't know how grateful I am for this. You got mush. Tasty. Oh, this guy's gonna scare you. A rare bear? Like an NFT? I'm kidding, Crypto's a scam. Don't do it. Not even once. Oh, Aubrey's dead? <laughs> Oopsie. When is the PSI 2 NFT? Never! Cause crypto's a scam! Oh! Cal's dead? And why would I scam my audience more than I already do? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna live. Amori did not succumb. Okay, this one might be GG's. <laughs> uh oh. No way. Do you want to retry? Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to retry.
I misclicked. Oh wait, can I run? I can't run! Oh my god. Let's go back and heal. God damn. Fear of spiders, hero. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Breathe in, breathe out. Amora used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's being. Wow, so brave. Yeah, so brave. Why do they turn into toast when they die? This is a kid's game. <laughs> no, it's not. It's rated R. <laughs> it's rated M. Okay, can I get out of here? Everyone should be fully healed. Yes, of course. Easy. Okay, we're gonna avoid the fights. You're afraid of drowning. Okay, dude. Me too, though. I've almost drowned twice. So valid. Call like getting hurt, or you're gonna be toast. I wonder where that originated from. Am I allowed to eat the toast? No, because it's our friends. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? R.I.P. Kel. 274 XP and 44 clams. Omori leveled up? What the, what the heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy and smells like bad apples. There's more forest on the other side of this lump. Come on, Aubrey, smash the thing to smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel? How rare. Step aside, I'll show you all how it's done. I'm gonna give this strange lump all I've got. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Damn. This web is too strong to be cut. <gasps> no!
Okay, we got a speed run. We got go! Oh, come on. Damn it. Was at it. Come on. Dude, I had it. There we go. Oh wait, can I light the matches? Oh, it does distract them. Oh shit. <laughs> but not for long. I wonder if I don't, like, save my friends from the webs, I'll be able to, like, get through quicker. Because if there's less of them for... Or less people for the spider to catch, I think it'll be fine. Oh, wait. <laughs> I ran right into it. I'm gonna try without him. Uh, Amori. I think you're forgetting somebody. Okay, I need to untie them. Damn, they're just holding me back. It's our friend! Oh, that's back where I came from. I, I have to go over here, I think. Basil? You got a magical bean!
Daddy Longlegs. Welcome to the Lost Forest, where you find things you never knew were lost in the first place. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. That wasn't right. Not that either. Okay, this isn't very funny. Oh, that's new. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or how deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. Trying to lose yourself? Or have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here. To finish the job. Usually, we tend to do things we want, as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. And more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. You're still here? You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A, a confession, perhaps. But I'm not the one to tell. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be it regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you're hiding away from the right way. Dude, I don't know. Morals are lost on the wicked. How does one define malice without intent? Why do you continue down this path when it's most certainly not the right way? There's an old saying about wasting time when living a life that is not your own. Dreams can feel like that. Like this forest. Lost. Sometimes when we hide things from ourselves, we create different truths and eventually forget our way. Have you found yours yet or are you still lost? chocolate. <laughs> I forgot. I should eat one. Plus
My foot's asleep. And it hurts. It's not bad. It's just like, you know when you get the tinkles? And then it feels like it's pulling in? But it goes away quickly. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Forget all you will, or try to. Darkness manifests whether you are aware or not. Hide the inevitable behind ignorance, and watch your life fall. And I'm back here. <clears throat> the darkness surrounds you, and it is a terrible thing. But your truth has guided you. How much longer can you keep it? Okay, that's the same dialogue for once. <laughs> you picked up a pearl. Oh. That's not right. I wanted to go back. God damn it. I'm stuck. You know who else is gonna be stuck watching ads? The non subs. Because <laughs> we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for 4 dollars just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we'll keep playing for a little bit longer. Until we get to the next save point. <clears throat> okay. I gotta get out of this maze again. What in tarnation? Oh, not this way. Damn it. Let's go again. Yeah, I do have pre-rolls enabled, but when I run ads, it disables pre-rolls for 30 minutes. So usually the only time you get pre-rolls if you're non-sub is when every, for every hour, every 30 to the top of the hour. Because there's no way for me to disable pre-rolls at this current time. It sucks. Because pre-rolls kill your channel. Because what new viewer is going to sit and watch a 30 second ad? Ads make me sad. You know what else makes me sad? Nothing. <laughs> I'm kidding.
Oh, here's the pearl. Okay, we're back here. Okay, so it's the same dialogue now. He's not saying anything new. I wish nothing made me sad. But wouldn't that make life boring if it's happy all the time? No, I'm back here! Come on! That is bullshit! No, it's painful. Mag, it's not emo hours. Come on. <laughs> nah, but I get it. The, the way I see it, like, hardship makes your character. So it sucks, but you have to acknowledge that it's still part of you. Okay, so it's left, right, left. Nope. It's not left. God damn it. I hate this maze. Okay, so it's left. Oh, is it the path with the bunnies? Oh yeah, it has to be because no, the incorrect paths don't have bunnies. Got it, I'm learning. I was right. There's no path. Oh, there's only one path. You have reached the end of the lost forest, but the beginning of the truth. I will tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there only existed two. The dreamer and his room. The dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the path as a visitor to these worlds, the dreamer would come and go as he pleased. 
slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quiet as they may have been, words of malice quietly crept into his mind, whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded his worlds above the dark realm, sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the darkness's presence never abated. Even with new allies, the darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge, or the absence of it, would become the, gre the dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to the blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the dreamer's sanity. So, the dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the dreamer had lived amongst us, simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully, ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you. As with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end would threaten this one too. Though the dreamer may have subdued the in inexorable, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an external wound, or eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful the dreamer may be of this peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet, the end of this world may be an inevitability. Dreamer, the dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. A keyboard key. H. Hmm. It's almost like he's saying this is all in my little head. Wait. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, we're back here. Okay, bye, Mac. Okay, plus one secret, I guess. Got a faux tail. Okay, let's get out of you. Oh my god, I, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, there's nothing in here, so if I get caught, that it's fine. Now we're free. Okay, so I explored over here. Oh, cool. One more fight.
Damn, that was bad. Yeah, let's go back to Mari quickly. Okay, before we save and end for the day, I just want to remember what's over here. Oh, so close! I got it. <laughs> Easy. Okay, so I have two wooden blocks. There's one. A two yeah where was the last one Okay, that's just fruit over there. Oh, and this was the lost forest. Candling. I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. The last time I had him... I'm pretty sure I was wandering through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I bet he's really lonely. Oh wait, I haven't gone over here. I was mistaken. Good thing I checked here. Now we have all three wooden tracks, so I think we can go on the rail cart now. Let's do that really quickly, actually. That way I have, like... <laughs> that way I actually know what to do next week. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, let's do a quick save. And then get in the minecart. It'll work this time. Dude, we're zooming. Castle. Easy. Basil, are you here? Basil, where are you? It doesn't look like Basil is here either. Hey, look, it's Marty! Marty! Oh, hello, everyone! You all made it through the forest! I'm so proud of you! Marty... I... I was so scared. You know... This is kind of embarrassing. It's times like these that I really wish Basil was here. He could tell Hero about how spiders are harmless and good for nature or something. Maybe then he wouldn't find them so creepy. I'm not sure if that would help him right now. Oh, Hero. You're gonna have to deal with this eventually. These things will only get worse over time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll naturally outgrow it. You never know what the future brings. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's save. Oh, yeah, let's let's do a quick full heal rather first and then save. That way I don't forget next time. There we go. Okay. That concludes um, Amori for this week. I definitely feel like I got a lot more done this, this day. Um, I definitely feel like the cycle is going to be, you go to bed, you're in the white space, and then you try to find Basil in the fantasy world that you've made in your head. And then, when you wake up, you can either choose to answer the door, then, but then I feel like if you don't answer the door, you miss out on story, like background knowledge, so you have to answer the door. So... I think we've played like two days in game and it says there's three left. So we're probably maybe a little under halfway through. Um, peep the pin message in chat. I do have the previous VODs for Amori published. So if you missed it, you can always catch up on the past story. But yeah, that was cool. It was, <laughs> it was funny doing the voices and shit too because I forgot half of them. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do calligraphy because we did get a donation today. So anybody who donates to the channel or uses their channel points will get their name written. So let's get that set up. <clears throat> Okay. 
Oh my god! What is this? Are these sketch cards? Ain't no way! <laughs> um, anybody who gives five subs so that by the end of the month will get a custom sketch card done. Right now we have three people eligible, so just make sure you send your pictures to my Twitter by the end of the month. Let's see. So you can use your channel points or use or donate to the channel if you want me to write your name. I think we still have rainbow name available. Thank you for redeeming Rainbow Keelan. Not anymore, exactly. Once again, Keelan, thank you for the 100 bits earlier. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're having fun with the TTS. Also, a gentle reminder, Meg Esports is hosting a Mario Kart tournament on Sunday, so make sure everybody is racing or watching this Sunday at 11. Hi, Titans! Can we get some yo's? I'm doing good. Hungry, honestly. <laughs> Okay, this is our last name of the day. So last call. Any redeemers? Any oilers? Another tourney for me to lose in? It never hurts to try, okay? But I think I might actually get top three this month. I don't know. Okay, chatters, last call, last call. If you want better write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Last call. Someone was oiling? Yeah, Kobobo and Keelan were fighting yesterday. They went crazy. I did compensate their credit card so they no longer can donate this month. Okay, all got. <laughs> Who would dare to want to stall? Okay, let's do yellow. Or this. Yellow orange. Easy. Okay, last call. Actually, last call. You guys got five, four, three, two, 
One, and we're done. Okay, so I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters or lurkers? I know story, ga story games aren't necessarily as engaging, but I still try and do voices to make it as fun for you guys as I can. So thank you all for watching today. We had more people than usual for an Amori stream, so that's kind of wild. Um, I should be live tomorrow. If not, for sure, live Friday. Because we do have Game of the Week coming up. Um, you guys know for health reasons I'll be live when I can. But I usually try to go for three to four days a week. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys when I see you. Please make sure if you're following, you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Um, also, follow my Twitter. As do go live tweets there. Because I know Twitch notifications can be kind of iffy. But... I will see you guys later. Once again, thank you, Keelan, for cheering bits today. I appreciate you. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. I had to look up a walkthrough today. <laughs> so silly. Oh, if you want to catch up on Amori more, Amori lore... Check the pin message. I do have the VODs published on my YouTube. If you want to catch up on previous story. But I feel like it's going to get exciting. I, I st I'm i still going with my theory. I think Amori killed Mari. I think Amori went a little bit crazy. Had too much fun one night. And killed her. Bye, Chip. Thank you for hanging out today, man. You're working eight hours on Friday? R.I.P. Bozo. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Eight hours. <laughs> but just make sure you take your break. Because I feel like not many people take their actual designated work breaks. So make sure you take it, man. Yeah, bye, Keelan. The music in this game is crazy, though. I feel like for games that are less engaging, you have to have a decent soundtrack. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.